What's up YouTube, it's Louis here, hope you're all well. We're looking at Elrond today on the daily, oh on the weekly time frame, sorry. And uh, luckily enough for you guys, with this FTX event, I knew that, and uh, just before this FTX event actually, when we were coming down back in September, I gave you this level of $45 and we could not see closes below this. With the FTX event, we can see that we did close below that. And that's why ever since that event, I've told you guys, new external factors have come into play we were accumulating for five months. That's amazing to see in a bottom accumulation. We were going up. We had a bullish cross just formed on the daily time frame. So we're setting up to go up. And of course, that was all taken away from us from an external factor. And with that external factor, again, shouldn't have happened. It just did. So with that, you cannot ignore what's staring right in front of you. You lost $45. We said at all costs, we can't lose it. We didn't over here. And actually, actually, as we reversed here, this is when we started setting up all the bullish, uh, yeah, well, the signals with the bullish cross and yeah just a few patterns that were setting up inverse head and shoulders double bottoms and of course as we were breaking out heading towards the range highs we have that ftx collapse and so with that we need to take that out over here at the top of it if we want to go up not only that we can't afford to lose this and that was lost so again we have to understand because this is now not no longer support it has to be expected to be a uh, resistance or an area of supply what was once demand where we're pumping from we're now going to dump from and so that's what's been signaled with this uh weekly uh close over here as a shooting star followed by last week's close which closed last night being a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern so if you remember a good few weeks ago we were talking about whenever we do actually come and test this low it's going to serve as a short-term support and now we'll head over to the daily time frame to analyze this but again i hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far and if you're new around here make sure you do like this video it takes a second and only less than half of you actually like the videos and actually less than half of you are also subscribed so do please like subscribe comment and turn those notification bells on so heading over to the daily time frame now, we can actually see after calling for this to be a golden pocket and expecting this rejection after this big wick, this big bearish candlestick uh, signal, we were expecting for us to eventually lose this low. But I remember in the past, we were saying that this is going to serve, serve as a short term area uh, of support, even though we're expecting to go lower to 30 and $20. We can't ignore that this was once the bottom. So when we uh, do touch it for the first time again, it's going to react. And so that was your reaction over here. But with these wicks you've created, we're now filling them in. We're trying to lose this support already. However, we've set a new lower low with the wicks. I don't think with the bodies, actually. We have with the bodies as well with those candles and this potentially can become our lowest uh, daily candle close in six hours and 46 minutes. However, is it the close right now? No. Has it lost the lowest wicks, the new low? No. So although we have this wick set here, I'm not too interested in now in it now because we've set a new wick low. So I would have a, a new support zone between that wick and this wick over here. So I need to see both of these areas lost and only once 37 is lost, I'm expecting this continuation down. But I will get you your targets to the downside now. We have 30 and 20 out of this descending triangle over here, descending triangle, as well as the head and shoulders pattern, which we're seeing across all the other alts and Bitcoin. The reason why we're seeing it on all the alts is because it's appeared on Bitcoin and everything follows Bitcoin. This is what I teach in my education, which is currently discounted at the moment. So if you are interested in taking up on the education, also uh, a student even left a review uh, yesterday. So I posted it on my Twitter. He only joined last week and he's already comfortable after back testing my strategy for the past week to actually trade over on Quant with leverage and he managed to pull out 23% overnight. So that was really nice to see. That's over on my Twitter. If you want to take a look, you need to also head there with a link underneath this video. Click that link. It'll take you there and just private message me for a discount, whether that's on the course or the mentorship. But I must say, I only have two slots available for the mentorship, which is one-to-one -one help where I uh, go over yeah in over video calls more information on over on my twitter if you message me so we'll continue with this so the targets down here uh we've got of course the short term bottom the 1.272 that's exactly why we're bouncing off there at the moment but the expectation is once you lose that we're coming to 34 dollars and then 30 dollars that makes sense it's lining up with our head and shoulders target over here at 30 then the descending triangle down here this area will serve as a short-term bottom you're going to try and come back up to here so maybe something like this 
but I'm expecting it to be resistance and we continue lower. Every bounce is a bull trap. Even if we bounce here, it's a bull trap. We're going down eventually. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe and comment and peace.